I'm Caleb. I'm Haley. And I'm having coffee, coffee with, with my, my ex. ex. That was good. That's good. a good day. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, oh, first sip of coffee of the day. Ooh. Mm. This morning I woke up and as I was getting ready, I was listening to the Michelle Obama podcast and I just, now I feel like a bad bitch. Inadequate? Oh, I thought you were <laughs> Inadequate, yes. But like, she just makes you feel like anything is possible. So I'm feeling like pretty good today. So if that's what you're looking for, don't listen to this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your podcast about? It's just about like, well, she does, um, right now, she does like series. So right now it's like relationships. And her first episode was like with Barack. And then um, the one that I just listened to, she did it with a doctor. And they were talking about like, um, women's health and Ooh. like I learned a lot about um menopause <laughs> but that's good to know because no one talks about it it was a really good podcast but other than that she like was just really making a point to talk about like your relationship with yourself and how it's important to understand your women's health because no one else is gonna like people don't talk about it because mm-hmm. most of the time they don't even know so uh, it was a really good episode, and I feel ready to take on the day. <laughs> ready. Ready. <laughs> uh, I was listening to Jamila Jamil's podcast yesterday with Queen. Deborah Messing, and I only got through like half of it because you told me about it. Yeah. But I love Deborah Messing. So oh my god, so I happy. love her. It was such a good episode. Um, I had no idea that she went through everything she went through with her yeah. body image, and at the I feel like a lot of people mm-hmm. in that time went through a lot more than we think. Mm-hmm. Because it, there was no social media. There were no, like, podcasts, like, to talk about things, like, deep dive into, like, your feelings and emotions and, like, stories. I know. I wonder if it was, if people viewed famous people differently because there was so much mystique and everyone was mysterious in this oh, 100%. character. Because the minute that Deborah Messing opened her mouth, she became a whole different kind of person. Mm-hmm. She became, like, ugh, Deborah Messing with an opinion. Yeah. How dare she? So interesting. Hollywood's so different these days. Yeah. Now we have power. But it also makes us less interesting, I feel like. Yeah. Because everyone's just like, oh, no, we're real people, too. We're yeah, not mythical exactly. right. beings. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Take we're gonna, it away. We're just going to jump in because in, in fear of not having anything to talk about today, we <laughs> now have too much to talk about. So. <laughs> so I asked you guys a bunch of stuff on the... Coffee with my ex Instagram, which if you're not following us on Instagram, it's at Coffee with my ex. Yeah. Get us a 10K so we can swipe up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I asked you guys, like, I wanted to get some QA. I did some polls. I even let you guys, like, give a little bit of advice to your younger self, which I've never seen such a big response. Hold on, I wanna show you these, how many responses we got. Hold on. I have not seen these polls at all. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. (laughs) On the coffee of my ex? Yes. (laughs) You guys, you're engaged. (laughs) There was like hundreds, it seems, of responses to that. People love to be involved. Yeah, imagine (laughs) that. Imagine that. Okay, so first and foremost, I wanted to answer some of these questions. You guys left some really juicy questions, and I'm really upset that we're not going to be able to get to all of them because they're all... There are so many good ones. So thanks for the future questions when we have nothing to talk about. But we're going to try to answer these like... Rapid fire? Kind of. Okay. You know what I mean? Like don't like... Don't dw- like dwell on it too Are you telling much. me not to dwell on it? Yeah, because I like want to get through this. <laughs> I need to wake up. Yeah. Good morning. All right, first question. Do you think Kanye has a shot at being president? No. Ever? No. I agree. Do you believe in astrology? No, but I want to. You know what? I do. And it's because I'm such a cancer. (laughs) I really, it sucks. I don't want to. Like, it defies all logic. But if, like, people think the stock market is real, I think astrology is real. (laughs) (laughs) What? Okay, that's funny. I mean, I'm a Pisces through and through. So, like, (laughs) I, but I'm like, that, that's just by chance. There's no way. (laughs) Like, I'm 100% a cancer. Like, I'm a homebody. Like, I'm a crab. Like, I have, a, like, a harder shell. But, like, I'm really sensitive, actually. I love cooking. I love, like, be, like helping people be comforted. Mm-hmm. Just a cancer. I don't know. You're, you're definitely a Pisces. 
All right, next. What is a good surprise that has come in the last couple of months? I know. I'll, I'll, I'll say for me, I think it was um, how much people enjoyed, like, joining the booty army throughout the pandemic. Like, how oh. that's how a lot of people, like, it's crazy how easily fitness can shift onto a digital platform and mm-hmm. we can all work out from our homes yeah you know what i mean because like before like we saw like a little bit of success with the booty army but like during the pandemic we're like oh like people this is like a demand that people like this is what people the people want Mm -hmm. you i don't know (laughs) if i have a surprise (laughs) okay (laughs) okay this one's funny and uncomfortable do you realize the connection you guys have you can see it when you dance Uh, <laughs> do you realize? <laughs> do you realize? Yes, do you I realize? do realize. That's so funny. Do you, you realize? You can see when we dance, because I swear to God, whenever we're dancing, I'm so annoyed with Caleb like, <laughs> the entire time. I'm like, settle, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> the sweat sessions are very different than the videos, I will say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying not to get hit. You, you are so, your biggest fear is just getting like, bop by me. Yeah, because it's happened before. So it you has? Do, so you do realize. <laughs> Someone the other day commented on one of the videos and they said they are just like brother and sister. Like they have such a deep connection. You can just see it. That is disgusting. People are obsessed with us. They ship us. Especially that person who DM'd you. Oh my gosh. If you guys saw the DM on our Instagram, that was insane. Someone DM'd Haley and was like, I just want you to know that I don't think Caleb's gay. <laughs> He's <And> just pretending. <laughs> He's just faking gay, which is what all the cool kids do, is pretend to be gay. Right. And and then he was saying that you're still in love with me, and I'm still in love with you, and that we're meant to be if you would just stop being gay. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Bad fan experience? Question mark. Um, I think the worst fan experience was in St. San Diego. Oh, tell that real quick. Yeah, so we were on stage in San Diego. We were doing one of our dances. Everyone's out in the crowd following along, and there's this one girl (laughs) who I hear yelling. No, no, no. How it started was you you were like doing like your little bit in the beginning, and she screamed. What did she say? Are you a top or a bottom? Yeah. (gasps) And everyone was like, and you just ignored her. Baffled, but yeah, I was like, okay, because it was. and extremely inappropriate. And also, my mom and grandma were at that show. Right. That is, that's it. I mean, that's obviously relevant, but it's irrelevant because even if they weren't, that was still wildly awful. inappropriate. But it's off, awful that they had to like hear that. Yeah. Like in such a public way. No, so I tried to play it off and mm-hmm. just wa- I keep doing my spiel. And then she got mad because I clearly ignored her. Yeah. And then during like some of the dances, instead of following along, she walked around in the front. It was just like flipping, flipping us off, off. <laughs> and not like doing any of the moves, like bumping into people, like causing a scene. She was sloshed. She was on something. She was on something. So we got her kicked out. That was yeah, the worst. That's experience. the only time I've ever had someone like get kicked out. Yeah. That I can think of. Yeah. That was like blatantly a disturbance. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh, but we have such good fans that come. So it's like, it was so bizarre. It to, was really bizarre. And they said she was there like hours before the show waiting. Yeah, well, there, was, there was a bar at that place. <sighs> That's a blessing and a curse. Okay, water, ice, or room temp? Room temp. Room temp. Mm-hmm. Uh, ice water is just uh, just a little too much. I can't. You can't drink it. When I'm thirsty, I need to be able to guzzle it yeah, down. Yeah, you can't guzzle ice water. Mm-mm. If you had to switch bodies for a day, what is the first thing you would do? Look at my vagina. What? That's the first thing you would do? I would, yeah. I would squish that macaroni. <laughs> oh my God. I would spend your money. <gasps> <laughs> oh, if we could switch bodies. Yes. I don't want to touch your, okay. <laughs> That's not okay. I was like, <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I thought you just meant like in general, like no, with a like girl. No, we okay. switch bodies. Gosh. I'm I mean, trading I... your Tesla for the model of BMW I want. Wow. Because we love the environment here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, what would I do? I, 
I'd probably take some Instagram pictures and just wonder what it would be like to be able to just like take pictures and have them all be great. That's not the truth. Would your body come with your ability to pose as well? Or would it be my brain totally? It'd be your brain. Then I just have to look at your vagina. Like, I don't know what else oh, I would do. Oh my <laughs> God. That's all I had to offer is my vagina. Or I would want to know what it was like to like, I I would want to know what it'd be like to have to pee and not be able to just like stand up and go. <laughs> and I'd also want to do tests to see how to make that work. <laughs> Oh wow! And also run with boobs. No, it's not. That's not a fun thing I to just, do. Why I do guess, you do all like the bad stuff? I would like to be able to empathize better. Yeah. I don't know if there are good stuff. <laughs> no. Um, what is something that you've learned about yourself through growing your audience slash touring? Ooh. Um, I think the bigger the audience and the touring has really helped. I think all of us. Um, get out of our own way and realize how much bigger it is than just us. Because mm-hmm. um, I think it's easy on YouTube to think that it's kind of all about you, especially when you're growing an audience. Yeah. But then you go and you see all of these people and how you affect them, and then it just puts things into perspective and helps, I feel like, the purpose um, come more into focus. Yeah, I feel that. Also, I guess for me, something that I've learned through all of us growing our audience is that I'm really happy that I'm surrounded by, like, authentic people mm-hmm. because, like, no one in our group has, like, has, like, a complex of any yeah. sort. <laughs> and that's, <sighs> I feel like, um, pretty rare in a sense of, like, whenever you're growing your audience or traveling the world doing what you love, I think that we're all really authentic. And I don't think I really understood that until I was in this world and, like, we did grow our audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is my favorite. <laughs> Why does Caleb use so much hairspray then complain every fucking time that it's in his eyes? <laughs> every time we do like a what? like <laughs> a shoe and we put it like live on Instagram and Caleb's always talking about how the hairspray is in his eyes. Okay. <laughs> What would, no. So what am I, first of all, I do, (laughs) let me back this up with, I understand the point, but like, I don't want to look like a foot all the time. And so I've learned now and in sweat sessions, I don't put hairspray on. I just do gel. I forgot you do it. Which is why my hair gets like gross by the end, but it's, it's a compromise. And then concealer, if I put it under, it doesn't get in my eyes, but if I put it over, then it bleeds into my eyes. So I can only do concealer under okay. the eye. Okay. The audience has lost interest. I just really wanted I think to ask you the question lost and, not, and not have you answer. Um, first time you dyed your hair? First time I dyed my hair was in um, third or fourth grade. We went to Sally's. It was blue. We got <laughs> who, a box who dye. Went? Me and my mommy. And <laughs> she dyed my hair blue so I could go to school. And by the next day, it turned into a rainbow cheetah print. And it was like white spots, orange spots, blue spots. And I went to school with a um, bucket fish hat, fishing hat that I got from Disney (laughs) Disney World. And I was so scared to take it off. And a kid reached over and took it off my head. Kids are so and showed everyone my stupid hair. And I (laughs) was mortified. And so, and then I had to go play baseball in it as well with all the baseball. That's so funny. I remember. Well, I used to get like highlights and like. and like middle school, they'd always be red because I was like super emo punk, <laughs> super emo punk. Um, but the first time I ever dyed my hair, like dyed dyed it, I was fourteen, and Sarah, my best friend, and I, we went to Meyer. Shout out Meyer. <laughs> you live in the Midwest, you know what's up. To Meyer, I got this like red hair color, and we both dyed our hair the same color, <laughs> and that's it. And I never went back. Like, I did, that was the last time you, I've ever seen my hair <laughs> in its natural form. It was when I was 14. You would love dyeing your hair yourself. It's my favorite pastime. Okay, so someone, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions about my love life. Um, I want to know about Haley's love life, and to answer that, no, you don't. <laughs> Let's talk about it. No. No, I'm here. No. Can I answer? I actually have my own polls that I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. Next. When did you lose your virginity? This is a hot topic what, as well. What counts? 
whatever are we talking you about? consider as the most intimate form of intercourse. Okay. Or, or, like, in course. In course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I was uh, 17. And yeah, I was 17. My mom was at work, I think. <laughs> I think I was wearing yellow underwear that day. Oh my god, no one literally asked. I think they did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking you to describe your first time. He looked at me. Okay. <laughs> I was 18, I was in college. Really? Mm-hmm. So that's it. That's it. <laughs> um, cheat day meals. What's your favorite cheat day meal? Cheat day meals. Um, oh, oh, um, uh, uh, general Sal's chicken or orange chicken. Interesting. Any kind of like globby, like, like, like Asian, American Asian food. American Asian food is right. <laughs> Love it. Um, I would have to say Shake Shack. <laughs> you love Shake Shack. I love Shake Shack. I also love any type of like spicy chicken sandwich. <laughs> It's just dry. No, 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 just no. Dry. You gotta get some cheese on that. Get some mm. cheese on that. Dave's hot chicken. Oh my god. I still god. haven't tried that. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, yeah, anything like fried. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you drink alcohol? More often than I like to eat. <laughs> right. Right. Like I have at least one glass of wine more nights than not. I use Even if it's just one glass of wine, just like with dinner. Which is like I feel like respectable. Yeah, like it, literally just one glass of wine. I think we also used to, we either, when we started drinking back in high school, mm-hmm. it, we used to either binge drink or not drink. It, we were always like, I, at least I said, I'm not going to waste the calories if I'm not going to get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, so psychotic. That was before like the anxiety and depression of just like everyday life. Setting. Right. <laughs> I never understood what taking the edge off meant until I hit my 20s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um uh but I feel like even like the past few years I really only drank like randomly on weekends. I yeah. never like had a couple of glasses of wine a night and I feel like now I do. It's the, I think it's the pandemic. I think it is too. Because there was a long time where I didn't even have I didn't keep a lot of like I didn't keep liquor or like wine at my mm-hmm. apartment. For that reason, because it always, I always feel better when I don't have that stuff. I feel like you're either completely dry or just wet as hell. Yeah. <laughs> you'll be like, oh my, you'll come over and you'll be like, oh my God, I haven't drank in like a week. You drank last night? Yeah. And then other weeks you're like, oh my God, I was so drunk on my porch watching TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> That's dead ass. Like it's one extreme or the other. Uh, I think everyone... I've been like gauging it in social like situations being like, oh, I've had a glass of wine almost like every night this week. And then if I get the response of, oh, just this week, I'm like, okay, so every two weeks and I keep going into then I see the norm and I haven't found it yet. Uh, Ryan which, Parma. Which is. Gets us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'm saying like I haven't really interacted with people who haven't oh. like also been. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yes, Ryan, shout out Ryan Parma for yeah. drinking a lot. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Ryan. Um, I'm sweating. But yeah, I don't think it's. I think it's like two glasses of wine a night, two or three. I was also <laughs> telling Cameron if we're not having like. Some people eat, like, ice cream every night. Like, I think that a couple glasses of wine in lieu of dessert. What if you have a glass of wine and then dessert? What if you have a glass of wine with your dessert? That sounds like a good night. I also love how, like, other... I feel like alcohol in the fitness industry is something that a lot of people, like, a lot of fitness influencers drink and also talk about it. Like, Shine, Sean, Shanti. Shanti has his, like, wine... Fridays, where him and his husband just get sloshed. They get sloshed. IG line. I, mean, I want to party with them. I do want to party with them. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just because number one, the pandemic. Yeah. Number two, I think more and more fitness influencers are like cautious of the fact, that, like it's just not. Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Oh, I can't like I ever think of words like this. Sustainable, early realistic. Thank you, sustainable. <laughs> How did you know? I just, I have a connection with you. <laughs> it's not sustainable to be like, if you want to be fit, you can't drink alcohol. People will not, people will not fuck with you. 
That's just the tea. Okay, Ari or Taylor? I don't pit women against women. Let's just like, it's just like fun. I just had to say that. I know you did. But let me pit them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're both great, obviously. I, know, I, th- I don't know even how you compare them. I know, they're totally different. That's why I think it's funny. Because you have to pick. I mean, I would li- <sighs> It depends. Do I want to cry or do I want to laugh and cry? You have cry? to pick one for the rest of your life. Which is it? Uh, for the rest of my life, I'm going to pick Taylor. Same. Because like she's like... What gets me through? I yeah, just love putting her through. on in the background and crying for no reason. Yeah. Um, second to last question. Did we ever have sex? No. <laughs> There's a lot of those questions. And no. no. Like we were children. Um, wildest thing to happen in a hotel room? I would like to say that we have gotten many a noise complaint. Many noise <laughs> complaints. <laughs> and I swear to God, we're just in the... In the hotel room, just like drinking champagne <laughs> and watching Britney Spears videos. We're really not being like crazy. We're not being crazy. We're Cut just Cut to loud. us having the pillow yeah. fight in Denver. <laughs> there are so many vlogs where like your fan account can pull from. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like we're like rambunctious, I guess. But, like, not so much anymore. I feel so like when anymore. we first started touring, we were a little, we were, we were young, young and wild and free. Yeah. I don't know. I still can be that way sometimes. What is the craziest thing to happen in a hotel room, though? I don't really think that we've ever done anything crazy. We're not, like, that crazy. We really, yeah, we don't. We're just obnoxious. There's a difference. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) That is very true. Okay, now we're going to enter the poll section of our... Thank you guys for all your questions. Um, But I asked everyone some questions. There are a lot of varying topics... Which you guys seem to love, so whatever. They love the scattered disorganization. And I'm happy because that's all we have to offer. <laughs> Absolutely. Chaotic energy. <laughs> I want to get, get that on Chaotic merch. energy on a shirt. All right. My first question to everyone was, are you in therapy? Are you in therapy, Caleb? Yes. I am not in therapy, but I have been to therapy. And I've been to a psychiatrist. That's so weird, though, because I've never, like, I never experienced child therapy, but you did. Yeah, it's weird because they literally think that you just want to go on to play games. And then they're like, oh, so like, why do you think your dad left you? (laughs) (laughs) Like, I'm just like, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm going to go fish or not. (laughs) My therapist yesterday, I was telling Haley, um, I just got back into it after like taking a year hiatus and then collapsing because of it. Um, (laughs) but my therapy session was supposed to be an hour and it went like an hour and 45 minutes and I came out to camera and I was like, you had therapy today for 45 minutes and my guy talked to me for an hour and 45. You guys are psycho about your therapy. (laughs) He was like, you're like, you need therapy about your therapy. (laughs) We We always debrief and then I know therapy session, but he's like, you're bragging that your therapist had to spend an extra hour on you for free because you (laughs) needed it that bad. (laughs) I'm dead. Okay. 30% of you said you're in therapy. 70% of you said no. And then I got a lot of DMs going with that, being like, I would if, if I, I could. If I could afford it, yeah. Yeah. So, the, yeah, that's a whole other issue. Yeah, Cameron and I both have had to pay out of pocket, which obviously is unrealistic Which is out of pocket. Anybody. <laughs> which is out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you following the Free Britney movement? Obviously, we are. We've been following. Oh, my God. You got my Free Britney shirt on. We've been following it since, like, the beginning. Like, Before it was cool. Yeah, like, over a year ago. And more so... Since the beginning, beginning, when yeah, this all like happened. Yeah, like the way, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, this one's interesting because 50% of you said yes and 50% of you said no. So, I'm honestly surprised that Wait, 50%, 50% said no? 50% said no. Which means 50% said yes. <laughs> but, like, I think that's, like, 50% of our audience is a lot of people following the Free Britney movement. You know, my mom just texted me yesterday and said, hey, like my friend heard about the Free Britney. Can you send me some documentaries or links that I can show oh her? Oh my gosh. And I was like, this is getting mainstream. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless of what, even if she doesn't, <clears throat> oh my God. even if this is not like necessary or she's really not being locked up, this is going to be a great resurgence for her. Yeah. She's going to come back and it's going to be like, unchained untethered like they better milk it no matter what yeah that's all i'll say okay my next question is a loaded question and i'll talk about it briefly um are you worried about voting by mail why no worried about it are you are you worried about voting a lot of people are worried about voting by mail that's why why i asked uh election fraud (laughs) 
<laughs> what? Okay. I prefer that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a normal thing. But the problem is now, though, and this is why I'm becoming more weary of it by the day, is because the... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's because of um, the Trump administration. What is happening here? I have, like, like built-up lotion. I don't see anything. Oh, my God. I can feel it. Oh, I can see it now. What's happening to me? I feel it like I'm little... shedding. Yeah. It's like my sunscreen. It's your, re- it's your rebirth. Okay, whatever. Um, uh, the Trump administration now is just trying to sabotage the USPS and so to make them seem like they aren't credible, to make them seem like they can't do it, and they're like making it so they can't do their job. And so a lot of USPS people are now saying like, yeah, give it to someone. Give it, like take it to like the polling centers because they're scared that something's going to happen with them. It'd be nice if we could just trust everybody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and someone had DM'd me actually and was like, how, like, why, like, are you asking this question? I think it's important to talk about, like, they're like mad they asked the question. I don't really understand why. I believe in voting by mail. I believe in that. That's like a normal thing that we've been mm-hmm. doing forever. But obviously since now it's a topic of discussion and it's trying to be sabotaged, I think it's something to be weary of, but not because of the USPS. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, do you think things will go be back to normal in 2021 for America? No. <laughs> okay, 16% said yes. <laughs> and 84% of people said no. And I agree. I think we're all, after we realized this wasn't a three-week ordeal. Yeah, or even like a three-month ordeal. <laughs> no, my um, therapist did tell me that he has, um, like, good friends who are doctors who said they're pretty sure that by the end of this year there will be a vaccine. This leads me to my next question. If a COVID va- vaccine came out tomorrow, would you take it? I don't want to be one of the stupid people who say no, but like, I'm scared to get the flu shot. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think that I would be, I, I don't think I would take it right away. I, yeah, I think it's like but normal to I think if no one nervous. takes it right away, then no one's going to take it. <laughs> like, we have to have a vaccine to get out of this, but yeah. no one wants to be the first one to take the vaccine. Right. 44% of people said yes, and 56% of people said no, which is pretty, like, I think that split. makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I would be nervous. If they were like, here, take this now, I'd be like, okay. But, like, I would <laughs> definitely have my reservations. Okay, what do you watch more, streaming services or cable? We obviously watch more streaming services, and so does everyone else. 91% of people. Wow, good. Um, do streaming services. That makes me services. so happy. What do you watch more, YouTube or Netflix? Netflix. 62% of people said Netflix. Yeah. 38% of people said YouTube. I would say Netflix as well. YouTube is for like throughout the day, I feel like. And I, at least That's for me. You. That's all <laughs> Because you. I just binge so like five hours a night. I don't really have like a, a set like I watch YouTube during the day and Netflix at night. I, I am really. so about routine though. So <laughs> absolutely. I guess I watch YouTube right before I go to bed as well. Like Interesting. my tech videos. Oh my God. Okay loser um do you think all the ellen degeneres allegations are true i think that oh god i'll say this i think that anyone in power or anyone who is kind of at the top of their career no matter what is going to get knocked down for something yeah and i'm sure that she is not the night as nice as she is on tv because everything you see on tv is a character is the best representation of right. someone she's created a brand about being kind and everyone who is a human has a lot of different emotions and feelings so i'm not saying that maybe she, it's not a toxic work environment which is a problem i'm just saying like i think it's crazy that people are shocked that she's not exactly who she is on camera. right right there's nothing like that shocks me anymore um 60 of people said yes they do think it's true and 40 percent said no so yeah, I agree with you. Okay, I asked our audience if they were 30 or under or 31 or older, and 69% of people watching us are 30 30% are 30 years or younger. Yeah. And then 31% are 31 and older. And that leads me to my next question saying does the concept of age scare you? Caleb? Yeah. 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 It's so scary, but it's because everyone makes it so scary. Yeah. Like, it's only scary because people tell you how awful it is and how you should have, like, this and this and this done by a certain time. I think our generation is going to have a really hard time with the aging process. (laughs) 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 
<laughs> Especially with like social media and Instagram, it's just the minute that we start kind of decaying a little bit yeah it's gonna be difficult yeah. it already is because everything now is especially vain mm -hmm. it feels and like and aside from that there's so many like environmental pressures like oh like you need to have a like if you're like a woman you need to have a baby by this time mm -hmm. um but like you are 30 and you still have all this like student debt and you can't buy a house because your job doesn't pay enough but you have a college education you could have your fucking master's degree mm -hmm. and like just not feel financially stable yeah. enough to have a baby and you're like oh well all of a sudden <laughs> i'm 36 37 and i can't have a baby anymore and so now people are like what are you worth that's a whole separate conversation Oof, that is a whole separate <laughs> conversation i wasn't even thinking about that i just think the idea um of i would love to be able my goal with aging mm -hmm. as I get older is to leave every decade without like regrets. I think mm. that's, um, and so far I would say that there, I don't have any regrets. So I'd love to keep that going. Oh, well, she can say the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Those were all the polls. Thank oh, you. Oh wow, we got Thank through them you. all? Yeah, 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 but I have another thing. So I was, I asked everyone um, what they would tell their younger self if they had the opportunity to. And I have never gotten such an overwhelming response. I didn't even know this many people cared. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's what all the things were? Yeah. Wow. People were like, no, I have some shit to say. <laughs> um, so I wanted to just like read. There's, honestly, there's a lot here. But I think they're all really good because I think it's important, at, no matter what age you are, just to hear people who are older than you or even the same age as you and what they like the advice that they would give themselves is still honestly probably relevant to you today. Mm -hmm. So I think this would be a good time to like really just like listen to other people and what they have to say and their experiences. Cause I think it's in like this, whenever I was reading them last night, I was like, oh shit, okay. So like we all get it. Yeah. Like, we're all like this, we're all in the same boat here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, number one, stop trying to hide who you really are and just to make other people in your life happy. Mm. Number two, follow your intuition and protect your inner child. Oh. And I feel that so hard. I wish that, like, I would just, like, that's why I painted the other day. I was just, like, having fun, like, doing my puzzles, like, <laughs> feels like, you know, like, I'm just, like, a kid, just a girl. And that's important. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. That's why I play my video games. Yeah. Look at you. Okay. Number three, don't be afraid of your feelings and the pain they may cause. It's okay to feel them. That's a good one. Next one. Boys ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of that. I actually got that probably 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Risk it for the biscuit. Chances not taken become what ifs. And I felt that. Ooh, yeah. Risk it for the biscuit, bitch. Yeah. Um, don't look for other people to validate you. Cultivate healthy relationships. Mm. Mm. This one is really good. You spend 100% of your time with yourself. Your relationship with you matters. Oh, that's good. Oof. Your value is not held within your appearance slash weight slash body type. Don't diet because don't diet because you want to be skinny. Change the way you view food and enjoy it. Mm. Someone said, stop being so nice, LOL. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like our listeners should be the ones on I this know. Like, no, like these, this these are so good. And there were so many more that were so good. But stop being so nice. Like, I feel that. Like, yeah. no, sometimes you have to be mean. Yeah. Um, next, you are not fat. Athletic build is okay. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people being like, you're like talking to their younger selves. Like, you're going to wish you had that body. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, my God. This is so funny. You'll be fine. Stop stressing about how ugly you look in your show choir outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the trauma. Oh. oh, this is my this is my favorite one. It gets better. It'll take a lot of time and it'll, it'll get even worse. But eventually it gets better. <laughs> 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 and then my last one. And this one I would say I feel wholeheartedly. Open your fucking eyes and pay attention to what is literally happening around, happening around you, LOL. 
<laughs> Did you write that? Did you write that? <laughs> and those are some of my favorite ones, but I want to ask you, Kayla, what would you tell your younger self? Are we getting a noise complaint? Good. Do you think that was a package? I hope so. What would I tell my younger self? I just, there is so, it's like, I'm just such a, I'm just, I don't know. I'm such a believer that like every thing that I did and felt is what allowed me to get to this place. Okay, yeah, okay, oh, yeah. Oh, God, You're okay. just trying to get out of the question. All right, um. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would just tell myself to be um, more confident and just always kind of go with my gut and not try to f- fit into anybody else's dreams or expectations. I think I spent a lot of my life trying to probably please others when I was younger or mm-hmm. second guessing myself because I always kind of felt less than. So. I think just believing in myself Mm -hmm. more so. Cute. Do you want to ask me? No, I don't want to ask you. Oh my God. (laughs) What would you tell your younger (laughs) self? Um, I would tell my younger self, growing up, I would always try to fit into the box that people believed me to be. Mm -hmm. So like... People, like, whenever I was younger, like, they thought I was, like, ditzy. They thought I was, like, stupid. Didn't have any thoughts. Like, I was poor. Like, this or that. Mm -hmm. To, like, not let those, like, other people's, like, definition of me actually define who I am. Because I felt like I spent a lot of, like, my youth just, like, playing that role. Yeah. And, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I feel like, no, like, challenge yourself and, like, just... Because I... Even whenever, like... People would say that I would like laugh and play along because it's easier to do that than be like, no, I'm not stupid because like I felt like I didn't have like any way to back that up. Mm-hmm. But I wish I would have given myself the credit Ooh, at the time. That's good. That's that's, that's good. good. That's good. Actually, can I change mine? No. <laughs> I change no, mine. No, you're jealous of mine. I'm not jealous of yours. I just have a better thought. Okay. I would have told myself not to try to hide my gayness yeah that's what i thought you were i because i and you're like no regrets i just never <laughs> even think that that was an like i does it doesn't cross my mind that that is even an option yeah um which i would love to get into the conversation my mom had <laughs> with me about that but mm-hmm. um yeah i think just because i think when i did come out people and especially my family were confused and then they thought that I was like acting gayer than I was or trying to play a part. And I'm like, no, I've just like literally been dumbing myself down or like Mm -hmm. trying to hush away all these parts of myself to To look more masculine or to, yeah, not present as gay. But like the way I am is a lot of my sexuality does have a lot to do with it. And Mm -hmm. I think I tried to hide that quite a bit. So, yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, that's all I had. That's all you had? Is that not enough for you? Do you know how much we just did? You just acted like we were going to be here for like an hour and a half. I was scared that we were. So what is your recommendation for the week, Cabal? Um, My recommendation for the week for myself is to watch. (laughs) For yourself? Because I haven't watched it, but I recommend that I should watch it. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, what is it? Well, I want to... Did we already talk about... Oh, we already talked about it. We recommended it last week. What? I haven't watched Immigration Nation yet. Oh. Um. Wow, you're literally worthless. Well, what? Well, you know we do this every single I, week. It's not a surprise. It's just like I don't have a new thing to give people every single week. You just give me a second. Oh um... Do you have a recommendation? I do, but what it's... What is it? What's your recommendation for the week? My recommendation for this week is a new podcast that I've been listening to. There's this Instagram account called Shit You Should Care About. Oh, I love that one. And they have a podcast. And it's these two girls from New Zealand. And they like dive deep into a lot of like political things all around the world. But they do a lot of like American like political podcasts, which I find super interesting because they're all the way to New Zealand. Um, and I just think it's fascinating or depressing how <laughs> the u.s is viewed to the rest of the world yeah and 
but there's two girls the podcast I love that it's like two like younger like women talking about politics and I'm I'm just so tired of hearing the same type of people talking about politics all the time mm-hmm. so yeah it, it's a really good podcast oh it's called the shit you should care about podcast did I say that I don't know um <laughs> oh and also the accents are a1 New Zealand gray, accents. they have gray accents <laughs> Uh, I think, uh, my recommendation for, oh, you know what it is. <laughs> do you know what it is? I do. It's Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Oh my <laughs> God. You are just so dense. I don't even know what to do with you. It is so good. If you haven't watched the show, just start at the beginning and just go on the journey because we just consume it like it is crack i'm just like not a big fan of that kind of tv and neither was i caleb and then i started it and i was like oh this is so dumb drama like it gives me anxiety how much these women enjoy fighting with each other yeah and now i'm like do you think that um i almost called her dorit do you think uh denise denise slept with brandy do you because that's what they're trying to figure out. Because Denise says everyone's lying. But why would Brandy lie about that? Does she just want attention? Does she want on the show? Or did Brand- she just- Is Brandy a girl? Yes. <laughs> yes, she is. And Denise told her that she had an open marriage. But I guess Denise is saying that's not true. And she's never touched a cuckoo. Oh, my God. So, watch the show. All right, Kabob, what is your intention for the week? Um... <laughs> Now, you know what? I wrote I, mine down this week, just come, like I said. I don't come to this meeting prepared. No, you didn't prepare anything. I have a whole outline today, and you just sit there and fucking staring at me, with your eyes like fucking cross-eyed. Like, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Can't even think of a fucking intention? You barely I, had a recommendation. I barely had a recommendation. <laughs> barely. <laughs> What have you even said this podcast? Have you said anything? I really haven't had many thoughts today. <laughs> I told you today's not my day. <laughs> oh my god. Um This is like this is like when you do your homework like as they're turning it in. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that so many times. Um my intention is to start um recog- recognizing um thoughts that turn into feelings that turn into behaviors and stopping that cycle and challenging those um negative thoughts with facts and positive thoughts <laughs> you're to just stop reciting your therapy session <laughs> the cycle of negativity that will spiral for the rest of my life until i continue <laughs> right. to challenge stop those the negative cycle thoughts. of negativity that will spiral for the rest of my life what a loaded <laughs> sentence what a loaded sentence <laughs> did i repeat my therapist verbatim, yes, I did. <laughs> that is a brilliant statement. <laughs> um, my intention for last week was to write down my intention, and I did it. This week, my intention is, I mean, I don't really need to read it. No, it is. Um, my intention is to take your guys' advice, all the time you guys spent telling me what you would tell your younger self, and think about that shit. Mm. and apply it because y'all bitches know better than me so that's what my intention is this week is Mm. to apply it to my actual life good snaps for snaps for you i fucking hate you today i hate you today (laughs) i hate you i do not like you it's trying it's like taking everything in me to say something Like, literally just to speak, it's like, you got to do it. You got to open your like, mouth. It's one hour of your life. <laughs> it's one hour of your week. And this is what you give the people. I'm so sorry. If you're listening, this is where you can take he a moment to click eyes. the join button on our YouTube page and support us. <laughs> uh, I took melatonin last night and I really should not have. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I would. You look stoned. Maybe I am. <laughs> And the more coffee I have, I swear, my, the more my eyes are, like, shutting. I know. No, same. I feel the same way today. I actually, I'm just, like, really trying to compensate for you at yeah. this point in time. Anyways, <laughs> coffee with my eggs. 